It's one of Canada's iconic species, a familiar shape on our quarter, a symbol of vast northern spaces. But most of the caribou herds in the country are now in serious trouble. A four-legged furry canary in the coal mine. Caribou require wilderness, and when caribou are moving out of an area, we are losing that wilderness. It's happening a lot, according to a new report by the World Wildlife Fund of Canada. It's produced the country's first ever look at wildlife trends over the past 45 years. The news isn't good. More than half of the 903 species it monitored are declining fast. And amongst those, the decline is very serious with populations being over 80% on average uh, below what they once were. The problems vary across the country. On all three coasts, whales are in trouble. On the prairies, grassland birds are dying off. In Ontario and Quebec, amphibians like turtles and frogs have disappeared from ponds and lakes. In Atlantic Canada, fish populations are dropping. Scientists say there's a list of reasons. Habitat loss, contamination, pollution, pesticides, uh, invasive species, climate change, and overharvesting. But the report blames some of it on the Federal Species at Risk Act, too. It's supposed to spot animals in trouble and protect them. Yet, the WWF says the act is overly bureaucratic and slow. We would deploy this on females. For example, it's taken the federal government 15 years to craft a plan to protect caribou. Where they were in trouble uh, 15 years ago, they continue to be in trouble, and in some cases uh, on the verge of uh, extirpation. Others say you can't blame one federal law for a complex problem. The provincial governments are implicated as much in species decline as, are, as is the federal government. The report says there are things that can help, like doing more research into how wildlife is affected by climate change and moving quickly to protect entire ecosystems instead of a species here and there. And it warns the longer we leave it, the more dramatic the loss in wildlife will be. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.